All the strats are useless if you cannot hit the final shot. So let's break up the most common things when it comes to the mechanical skills. These tricks will give you a better chance of winning a gunfight, because there are a lot of factors playing in before you click the trigger. Since match replays are a thing now, if you want to get one on one codes for free, links are in the comment section. Let's talk about advanced crosshair placement. Everyone and their granite is telling you to keep your crosshair placement on the head level, which is in the most scenarios good. But there is a catch. Check how I'm but slowly clearing the room before trying to enter it. And whilst I'm doing that, try to explain to yourself why am I doing what am I doing. This was my thought process. The defender can be on the head level. Bullet hole, proning, standing, bullet hole and corner. I have added an extra layer of crouching for the first bullet hole and standing for the first prone. Try to figure it out why did I do that in the comment section. I might pin the correct answer. What do you think? Should I be aiming head level or above head level when I'm about to pick the kitchen hallway? In most of the situations, in this case, your crosshair placement should be higher than the head level, because you're expecting a taker outside. When a taker was in the kitchen or by hallway, you will most likely hear him. Similarly, when you're in a taker and contesting the bottom stairs, you need to have crosshair placement below the head level, as the target is below you. Your crosshair placement needs to be on the head level of your enemy's perspective, not yours. This is very important. It's not easy to predict the correct crosshair placement when fighting vertical angles, because a lot of map knowledge and game sense comes to it. Let's go to coastline. Defenders are expected to be prone level, pixel or bullet hole, and then I'm expecting someone to swing on me from the wardrobe. Make sure to see the difference between all this and pre-firing. Sensitivity is also important when it comes to gunning people down. And it's also a tricky subject. Sensitivity is a preference. And do you know what preference stands for? It stands for it doesn't matter what sense I nor anyone else uses. It should not affect you to find your own sense. Sure, looking at the multiple pro sense can give you a window of what your EDPI should be. But you gotta adjust your own. There's also have been studies, but for the other games, how having 600 DPI is better than having 800 or 400. I'll put an interesting video about that in the description. But what I can tell you is how to find your sense. I'll be sure here, and if you want an in-depth topic about finding your sense, let me know down in the comment section. In short, you want to be able to have crosshair placement by a door frame, and when you're moving left or right, you want to have smooth movement of your crosshair. If it is jumping left or right, that means your sense is most likely too high. Another thing about sense important is flicking between two things. You can pick a Libby and keep flicking between the two heads. Don't expect immediately to be able to flick, give it a time. Is your brain capable of learning multiple sense? Yes, it is. So having the same sense across different scope is not a must. Nor it is a must to have one one sense for hip fire versus a cock. It's just preference, which means no point of asking what others play. Let's talk about T hunt. And the first thing is, T hunt is a not a great tool at getting mechanically better, but it is a great to get basics done and to warm up. By getting basics done, that means getting familiar with your sense, getting familiar with the sound and the semi-randomized recall patterns. But other than that, if you're familiar with this stuff, it's only good for the warm-up. You are going to play T-Hunt for 1 hour and then play ranked for 1.5 hours. That's a bit too much playing in T-Hunt. Probably the maximum you need to warm up is around 30 minutes. And even that is sometimes a lot. Playing the game, and especially the solo queue, is the best ways of getting better mechanically. Another thing about T-Hunt is, if I suggest you to play T-Hunt on Bomb on Coastline, 
and I mentioned that's the best way to practice. That's wrong. There is no D method to practice. You need to find your own routines because you know the best what works for you and what does not. The only thing I can tell you is what you can try. Reaction times also plays a huge role, but it's going to be hard to improve over your reflexes. It's a long-term process and it comes mostly from actually being somewhat healthy, which includes getting enough sleep, but as well as playing games or sports. What helps with the reaction time is not having cold hands. That's the main reason why you can see some pros with hand warmers in the LAN events. The more focused you are, the better. And that's the main reason why you always want to expect an enemy to arrive from a doorway or to expect them the moment you start clearing out the room. This also means playing without music or without anything else in mind, such as I should be studying instead, your mind should be clear. Also, if you're asking yourself if you should be studying, then seriously, go study. We'll end up this video with two more things, and one of it is something that many people are failing to comply. Even me. Whenever you start a game, you always want to have a consistent position of your body, and in healthy positions. Because if you feel the pain, then you will subconsequently adjust your body to remove the pain. Which we are back against to having a consistent posture of your body. I will leave two more in the videos about this in the description. But having a consistent position of your body as well as the height of the chair, desk or your arm really helps. The last thing I would like to touch is, if you're not sure what will happen in the room ahead or the area ahead, be ADS. So many times I have seen people going with heat fire mode, crouch walking, while not ADSing, and when you face the enemy, you will waste a lot of time on the ADSing and another extra 100 milliseconds on adjusting your crosshair placement on their head level, which in the higher memory will grant you a death.